Hey, Bree. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Babette. How are you, ladies? Can you believe day four? <laughs> I am shocked myself. Hi, Sunshine Civilization. Hey, Brittany. Hey, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Abigail, hello, hello, hello. Dusk in the Attic, Abigail, Mackenzie. <laughs> good, good, I'm, I'm glad, busy today, I'm sure. Trying to stay awake for you. Oh, what time is it over there? Oh, it says, or is that my time? MD Paint Splashes. Hello, everybody. So it is day four of Vlogtober. I just can't believe that it's already day four. <laughs> so um, if you're new to this channel, my name is Rowena, and I am the designer of this Sojourner Traveler's Notebooks and other leather goods and this is a channel about journaling travel stationery basically anything that will help keep you documenting your life as it happens and so um today i had posted on instagram and let you guys know that i'm going to be doing a giveaway today because it's my fourth day to vlog um and uh, I feel like celebrating. <laughs> so I have a couple of things that I wanted to give away today, but I wanted to go ahead and tell you guys uh, basically what the little rule is or what you have to do. I had mentioned on Instagram that, hi Maria, that I needed um, basically to be able to be eligible. And, and by the way, if I get really distracted easily with comments. And so the, although I'm asking for comments, please go ahead and keep commenting. But I just want to let you know that if I miss the comments or if I don't address it, it's because it's not because I'm ignoring you. It's I'm trying to concentrate on what I have to tell you guys, okay? Because I don't want to miss anything. But anyway, I wanted to let you guys know. So just go ahead and keep commenting. Totally fine. But what I wanted to do is um, basically I to be eligible to enter this contest what you need to do is basically comment on this particular video whether it's during the live or later on um, when this is archived and how we're going to pick the winners i have two things i want to give away today the how we're going to pick the winners is basically um, I'm going to have two of my daughters are going to be here today and so I'm going to have them choose a number and this is probably going to close oh probably before my next vlogtober tomorrow whatever time that's going to be it's going to close right before that but I'm going to have them pick numbers um, basically out of their heads or whatever I'm going to video that real quick um, while I'm with them today this afternoon and they're gonna pick the number um, each gonna pick a number and whatever number that is that coincides with the comment that is who's going to win the prizes um, there will be so there will be two winners so again does that make sense I'm sorry if I butchered that so basically they're gonna choose numbers and whatever number it is that coincides with the comments that came in today on this broadcast then that is who is going to win. Hi, Robin. So, um, yeah. So, again, it'll be open until about tomorrow sometime. Let's see. Now I've lost my train of thought, mind. Okay, so, oh, oh, that's what I wanted to say. There we go. The comments that you, I, I want you guys to keep commenting here, but please do not comment like dot, 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 and then get back on and dot, dot, that type of thing, or something that's just, you know, whatever. That's something I would totally do to try to win, but please don't do that because we really want some comments here so that either we can address it or we can address it for later at another, on another, um, vlogtober or video and so just whatever comments if you want to comment but just 
that's just what I'm saying. Don't just comment just to comment and then, you know, does that make sense? Guys, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. And I'll tell you why that is. Because today I had planned on doing this, right? And um, well, I'll go back a little bit. This morning, I was with my husband and we were discussing um, iPhones. And I sat there and I was like, um, you know, I, I, I was asking him if it's okay if he thinks I should get a new iPhone. I'm not one of those that have to be um, with a technology whenever something's new that I need to get it. I'm totally not like that. If something works, then I'm totally fine with it. I'd rather not have to mess with a new item anyway. It's just if I needed one, I was just asking him if he thinks it would be a good jump from what I have today to the ones that because now they say that the cameras are a lot better and so basically he advised me and he said you know the thing is is that you're doing more of the of the videos and you're doing it off of your phone and your ipad and so it's really worth it for you to get it for somebody like you yes it is your tool you need to get it but for him he was saying that he doesn't need that because it's not what he does and so he kind of gave the blessing for me to do it. Well, I went to the backyard this morning, and if you guys saw that footage where I did an Instagram live, I to do a quick intro and tell you guys that this is going to be happening today, the, the giveaway. When I did that right after I did my last take, because believe it or not, it takes more than once for me to take those little bits and pieces, because a lot of times I go in there and I just don't even, um, I'm not so super prepared. I'm just trying to wing it. And then I'm like, okay, I'm not very good at winging. So anyway, so then I got my last take, thank goodness. And then guess what? I dropped the phone face down on the patio concrete. So it totally shattered. Let me show you guys what it looks like. You see that? Totally shattered. And so I was like, okay, I can't work with this today because the glass, actually, the little particles on the glass can actually get on your fingers. And so I'm like, okay, so I guess I am supposed to go and get a phone now. So yeah, the other day I was talking about unfortunate events happening and um, how we react. And let me tell you, I have a feeling I reacted a lot better because I already knew ahead of time that I was going to replace this one. But nevertheless, I'm probably going to get the screen fixed so that I can still use it and then just have it designated here for the studio for that. And so anyway, yeah. So um, why did I tell you that? I'm really not sure. Just letting you know what's happened today. Oh, that's why, because I'm all over the place right now. Not that I'm not usually, but anyway. Okay, so we talked about the entering, how to enter. Did everybody get that, I hope? Yes, yeah, screen protector. I have to replace my protector constantly. Yeah, you know what? I also have a, um, if you guys don't know, well, a Mophie is, it's one of these things. And it's an extra battery. I actually need that extra battery. But I took it out recently because I sometimes I have issues with it. And then I don't have the right plug, blah, blah, blah. And so I take it out. And then I took it off. And I kept forgetting to put it back on for two days. And so that's why I've been kind of been on its own. But yes, even a screen protector would have helped it. I use the clunky OtterBox Defender case. And I get a lot of teasing and flack for it. Huh, interesting. Are we commenting on a certain topic? Sorry, buffering issues on my end. Well, whatever you want to comment, as long as it's fairly relevant. <laughs> you might want to OtterBox. Yeah, they unfortunately, because it's the, the new phone that they just released about three weeks ago, they don't have a lot of um, choices. So I just got the one that's the Apple designated for it. And then I did have a screen protector in the front. And also I purchased a two year warranty against breakage and things like that. I don't usually break my phones, but you know what? Just in case or a life case. <laughs> so, okay. So we got those two things that I wanted to tell you guys about. Let's go ahead and show you what I'm going to give away today. Number one, I just got this very cool package in the mail about two days ago. Do I plan in a TN? No, I plan in a folio. 
So, okay, so I wanted to show you guys this beautiful, beautiful piece. And so, well, before I do this, I'm gonna show you something first. Uh, Brie, I think she's still on here from Document and Journey. You guys all know her. If you don't, um, you should, and you should be following her. She puts out a lot of videos. And she, um, I placed an order with her, and these are her stickers. I just wanted to show you guys what they look like. They're gorgeous. I'm in a sticker mood these days, and so I've been purchasing stickers from different places, but I love them. Are they pretty? I ordered two of each because I knew I was going to not want to, um, well, most of them I ordered two of each because I wanted to make sure that one of them I could just keep and then the other one I'll be able to put somewhere and not think too much about it because then I still have one more. So anyway, super cute, love these. And then she gave me some tabs. I, I'm starting to use these tabs as well. They come in very handy in your journals. By the way, these are not what I'm giving away, guys, okay, from Brie. <laughs> giving away something else, which I'll show you in a minute. So tabs. These are so fun. I love these. Vellum tab. Oh, thank you so much, Brie, for these. I wanted vellum. I'm loving these tabs lately, so there's that. So the one, the thing that I want to give away is this. Hers and Babette's are some I hope to get soon. Yes, exactly. Yep, Babette has some. I love her little her girls. Uh, one of them, especially, is dear to my heart. <laughs> hint, hint. Okay, so look at this, you guys. This is the cover. Okay, I did not expect them to be this nice. I mean, I knew that it was gonna be nice because Brie puts out nice stuff, but I had not ordered one of these where it has her artwork in the front. And I tell you, when I opened this package, the color on it, I was just like, oh, that is so beautiful. So anyway, I'm not gonna give away this particular one. I am giving away the same size, which is the signature size, which is the fill note signature size. Hopefully you guys have notebooks for that. If not, you know where to go. <laughs> but um, anyway, it is such a fun size that I thought, you know, it, whether you have a notebook or not, it'll be nice for you to check out and try out the size. So basically she's going to send it to you straight but you get to pick whoever wins this gets to pick what picture they want in the front or maybe you don't want a picture you could put a um a sticker instead so it's up to you um like i said i i did not order extra stickers but i did order one of these extra ones from Brie so that she can send it to you straight instead of coming to me first but anyway it's going to be in um, you could choose whichever you want as a cover. And I'm telling you, these are just so colorful and so beautiful. I just, I just love them. So on the inside, of course, it is her, um, this is the Tomo River paper in here. So I can't wait to work with this. I kind of wish I was actively, seriously doing vlog to, um, Inktober so that I could, I would probably be using this, but um, alas, I'm not really that serious about it because I can't make too many commitments. Your wish list journal from Brie. So yeah, so pretty. So she said that she will let you pick whatever you want in the front. So there is that. So that's the one thing I wanted to give away. Okay, I'm not seeing any comments, guys. Keep on commenting. You can comment about, do you use these? Are you getting into these? They're really fun to use. You can put them on the side of a notebook or at the top. So tabs, anybody using tabs? Okay, so the next thing I wanna give away is a couple of days ago, 
I had my uh, mini iPad and I was looking at it and I'm going, you know, I really need to put this in a case. Kind of like the phone, right? Because <laughs> I took it out of the case and um, I'm looking at notes here. Yes, Robin got me started on tabs. So I thought I, I want a case for it, just like I have a case for my computer. And so I was, I was about to design a new case and I don't know what it was, but I had this on the desk and something just made me think, you know, why don't you try putting that in um, that particular notebook? And the notebook that I had right there is the A5 modified for the Jibun Techel A5. So it's this size right here. And as you know, we have this in the studio. We sell the modified A5 for the Jibun Techo. And if you're not familiar with the Jibun Techo planner, here it is. Okay. It's a planner. It comes with an idea book and a life book. A lot of times people just carry the planner by itself in here. But anyway, so it fits in here nicely. Well, I discovered that that size actually fits the mini iPad. Check it out. Is that cool or what? And then on this side, of course, it has the slots for business cards. You can put that in there or for um, credit cards. And then it can fit your field notes. That is the large field notes in here. It fits in here nicely. So I see myself taking this, just this with nothing else, right? Over to a coffee shop. There's times when I go to a coffee shop and I sit there and I watch video lectures and then I take notes. And I usually have a commonplace book that I put it in, you could slip it right in here. And you could just take this out, take your notes as you're watching your video. Is that cool? So it's repurposing a another notebook in case you have one of these and you're not currently use it, you can use it for this. And so it works really nicely and I just, I love it. Also for other people who may even be doing videos, right? You could be, um, doing research or what have you. You could be writing your information here, but let's say you do videos. You can actually put a calendar as well inside on the inside, like right here, and you could put your schedule of videos on your calendar or however, whatever you want to put in here. But it's just so, so cool. And I thought, you know, I love this because there's many um, people who have the A5 modified and may not be, for instance, you may be using something else this coming year for your um, planning. And so with this, you can still use it if you have this notebook. I, I, oh, of course, you're gonna have to buy an iPad if you don't have one. <laughs> And um, from what I understand, they are going to be coming out with a new um, mini iPad. I think my, I, my mini is about three, four years old. And so I'll probably be upgrading that too. But the, the talk is, is that they're going to have one fairly soon since it's been a while since their last one. And also just wanted to show you this too. And see how convenient that is while you're at the coffee shop, you can... You can just slip in your your card in here, your credit card, so you can get coffee or your coffee card, you know, where you get, I don't know, sometimes you buy 10, you get one free. And so this also fits in here, this little field notes and papers, this new one. So what do you guys think? Can you think of other ways to use that? I'm sure you can. If you guys want to um, comment on that, go right ahead. Would lo I'd love to hear other ideas. Sipping salted caramel tea while watching. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you're watching. So any ideas of what you could use it for? I just thought it was really handy. I'm going to be using it. 
You can also use it on one of these with a pocket in the front. It's gonna be even more versatile, right? Because you can put other things in here like your pens. We have been chatting it up while you were talking. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> so you guys have been commenting. Okay, speaking of coffee shops, how did it go with your friend, pastor's wife and showing her some journaling tips? It went very well. Um, she really enjoyed it and I spent a lot of time um, with her, which was really nice and we got caught up. You don't have a mini iPad, sadly. It's actually quite handy, but yeah, it was really good and it was very much a blessing. And um, I think I talked a little bit about it the day after. So if you wanna catch that on YouTube, that would be great. Finally catching you live, good evening from Germany. Good evening, Sandy. Love that idea, but don't have an iPad anymore. Oh, well, shoot. <laughs> it is gonna be pretty exclusive to an iPad, right? But you know, you could still use it for um, the book itself, uh, a book inside of it. Uh, how many people have iPads? I thought everybody had iPads. Well, a lot of people, anyway. I know Babette has one, because she'd been asking me to design one, and I just haven't had time. <laughs> I do, but it's too large, okay. So guys, the ones who are just coming on here, um, I'm asking people to comment. And when you comment on things, then you, um, that's how we're going to pick who the winner is. My daughters are gonna pick a number, and then it, whatever coincides with a comment, that's gonna be the winner. No iPad here, indeed. I have, I do, I love it, cool. Yes, the sheath, yep. Kind of like my computer one, I was gonna make it, but then this came up. So, yeah. Anyway, I think that's all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for being here and commenting. Comment in the chat or on the video. Um, either one, but it has to be this particular video once it goes um, archived. So lately, I'll just show you what I've been using lately for my, my own note taking as I'm watching videos, lectures. I've been using this one here. And this is the Field Notes Large fits in here nicely. But see, my iPad won't fit in here. So I may be switching to that other one. See, it's too big, but it does fit in the A6. So actually, let me go ahead and, and switch it over to this one that is a stag so we can see what it looks like. And if you want, you can also use, still use your I don't know, maybe people have already been doing this. I'm just new to it <laughs> because I've never tried it. You can also use your Jibun Techo in it. What are your journal plans for 2019? I love seeing what everyone's planning to use. Is that Enoch? That one, yes, it is Enoch. And by the way, this is what I'm giving away. I kind of forgot to say that, didn't I? It's this Enoch that I'm giving away to the winner. It's the second winner. So yeah, so you can use this in here. I really don't know what I'm gonna be using right now. Changing my mind. You totally forgot. Yeah. I'm changing my mind on what I'm bringing, I'm using um, just because it's still kind of early in the game. I have been thinking about it though. Hey Natasha, Enoch, yes. So let me show you what this looks like on here. I'm really liking these um, field notes, honestly, and I think I'm going to incorporate it, and I'm thinking that I'll be incorporating it with my the business part of things. I'm really liking it, I'm liking the size, because this past year, if you didn't know, I have been using two A5s, which is the Hobonichi A5s, and let me tell you, it gets heavy. So I think I'm gonna separate some things. And so, yeah, I think I'm really gonna, I'm thinking of really using that. And so this is what this looks like. Okay. 
Hang on, it's getting there. One more thing. There you go. So then I could still put my pencil and my stencils. I think I might have this a little too full. It just fits. And see the nice thing about those, um, those field notes, they're not necessarily, this particular field notes, the large, is not necessarily the best for fountain pens, which that's what I like to use. However, it is nice in that fact that, you know, that it's a writing only for me when I use these field notes typically. I still use the fountain pens. I just have to write a little bit lighter. Is that full use subscription once or twice a year? It happens twice a year. Do you hang up at the, did you hang up that leather remnant please, piece? Um, no, not yet, soon. So anyway, that's what it looks like. And then in the back, so I put two of them and in the back here, I have a calendar, but I probably actually wouldn't have the calendar. I'd probably put it within that one notebook, which I did. So then it will fit better, I think. Yep, it fits much better. But quite handy. I like this idea a lot. Like I said, maybe I'm late to the game. But anyway, so what I started doing, the one who asked about, so I'm kind of thinking of doing a slightly like a bullet journal for work next year, but I kind of liked what I did here. Let me show you. And this is specifically for Vlogtober. See, the field notes. And then I just turned it around so it's horizontal. And then it's just the calendar. So it's kind of nice. And, I'm th and then I put notes about Vlogtober and what I'm going to be doing. So whenever I have an idea, I put it in here or whatever I'm gonna be talking about to make sure I don't forget. So yeah, it is a nice size. It's not too big. Let me see, um, I don't have sizes memorized. As you can imagine, I have a lot of things that go on and so I can't memorize sizes. I wish I could. Well, I probably could. I just don't put the effort, to be honest. So I don't really know what the size is. Oh, you know what? Good way to find out. Here we go. Take the ruler from another field notes and measure it. So it's about five inches by about seven and a half. Five inches by seven and a half. That's the size of it. So anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. So remember, the first winner is going to win this beautiful notebook, very much like this, from Brie of Documented Journey. And then the next winner is going to win a A5 Modify Jibun Techo. The Breeze does not. The Breeze is an A5. However, this um, Moleskina one that is a large fits in here. It's swimming, but if you have three or four of them, or maybe you have something else, it can fit in here. So that, and let's say, The Jibun Techo should fit in there, no problem. Just like that. So that's it, you guys. I am going to announce tomorrow who the winner is for these two items. And uh, we'll go from there. So I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of Thursday. And I hope to see you again tomorrow. Um, yeah, I should be vlogging tomorrow. <laughs>
<laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for hanging out. I am going to go back and read those comments um, because I'm sure there's some good ones in there. But thank you so much for coming on. And as usual, keep on documenting life as it happens. Shalom.